Hi, uh, what I've noticed, this is BB. Um, what I've noticed is, uh, it's cold in here. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a distraction or if they're trying to, if she's trying to just like establish herself as she's so powerful, she can do all these things. I don't know. She can, because she does them. <laughs> Why, <clears throat> I don't know, my, my nose is burning like pepper. Why, I don't know. But anyway, my hair is, you know, anyway. What I've noticed is, uh, with me, is like, because of of not being able to work properly, um... I have Google Ads set up. I tried, I got an account set up where it's, they're giving me limited, limited um, exposure. They say I'm, 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 suddenly my ads, which I've had for years, not anything, not breaking any of their policies or going against any of their rules or policies. Now, every single ad I create is going against their policy. That's the power of hacking, y'all. That's what hacking does. If I set, I set up, like I said, a Microsoft, Google, Bing, which is Yahoo account to advertise on Yahoo, I never got the chance to advertise. They, they closed the whole account down. They didn't say, well, this ad is violating their policies and their rules. They closed the whole account down. They did not give me a chance to revise. They did not give me a chance to make adjustments. They just shut the whole account down and told me it's better for me not to make an account anymore. Like, Why? Call the girl. I spoke to someone for 11 minutes. I tried to record the call the, uh, uh, on the phone, but there was no voice. Of course there isn't. It's called the power of hacking. The girl, the young lady I spoke with, she said she has no idea. Even she was puzzled, and she's on their end. She's on, you see, that this is what it is. Because of less human interactions, everything is done by, 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 by computers. Hackers, it's a hacker's world out there. They can go, they can hack into any of these databases, make any adjustments they want, and destroy anybody's life anytime they feel like it. This is not fair. Now she's telling me I shouldn't work online. That's their comeback. That's her comeback. That's her comeback. I shouldn't work online. That's like I shouldn't have money for, to steal either. I should be broke all the time if you go by their standards. I mean, if people doesn't have money, then they won't steal. They're, 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 they're doing this not to pass the time of day. It's not like they have a nine to five and they do this in their downtime. This is what they do for a living. This is how they make their living. This is her job. To fuck with me and fuck with people. And to steal whatever we have. And while they steal it, this is, this is where they stole it over here. And they're pushing everybody over here. This direction, that direction, that direction, that which is it? Slow down. What did you lose? Think. What did you lose? Start there. The point of making this video is she's just got me over here, going here, going there, thinking back in the past, in the past, in the past, in the past, in the past two years, 2020, when this all started. In earnest, 2019, latter part of 2019 to 2020, mid, mid year. And uh, from then on, well, it's, you know, it's only last year, and well, this year has just started. But mostly focusing on 2019, 2020, 2019, 2020, 2019, but nothing in the future. I'm so caught up and wrapped up in all this crap because I can't work. I can't really focus on anything uh, ongoing. It's, it, I can and I want to, but it's, it's kind of difficult. Spritzing, spraying, it's, it's not easy for me. The damages that these people are doing to me psychologically, physically, mentally, emotionally... Uh, uh, um, they don't have the money to pay me. They don't have compensation for all of us out there. They don't have it. 
this group is probably not going to be held accountable for what your group is doing to you or your perpetrator is doing to you. But <clears throat> it's, it's they're, you know, they're solely responsible for what has been happening to me. Not that they're prepared to um, take responsibility. Not that they're prepared to take any type of responsibility. Because they won't. They won't. So the thing is, they have me focused on that time. You know, it's like I have no vision for the future. I'm focused on what has already happened. I can't change it. There's nothing I can do to change that has already happened. I can't go back in a time machine. My time machine is down. It's out of commission right now. I can't go back in the past and change it. But that's all I seem to be focused on. And if you follow your own train of thoughts from day to day, you might find that you're living in the past. Not all of you. Some of you are great at this and you just, you just move past. You just focus on the, on, on the future and how, you, how it will unfold. But for me personally, this is what this one is doing to me. She's, 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 she's limiting my vision to the past. Now, I don't blame her solely for that because it's my job to fight through this and fight through all that she's doing to me and focus on the future. I guess if you're doing this to somebody unconsciously and they don't know this is happening, like, you know, it, it's easy. It's easier. But when you know it's happening, because you can smell all this shit. I mean, I know what, 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 what kerosene smells like. I'm from a third world country. They have kerosene stoves there that are still being used to this day. Uh, gas, uh, chlorine, um, um, <clears throat> Uh, vinegar, all these things have heavy, heavy, heavy fumes attached to them. Heavy fumes attached to them. Now, that's what I'm focused on. 2019, 2020. 2019, 2020. This was when this was when they were having the most fun. The most fun. The most fun. And, and, you know, they were having this a hotbed of fun. Like it was all fun. All games. All fun. All games. All fun. All games. All fun. All games. That's 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 the style. She was at the height of her career then. Whatever the fuck she was doing, I don't know. She was at the height of it then. So that's where I'm focused on. And the second thing is, I want you to focus on something if, if you can. Look, just hear me out. You, we moved from place to place to place after this started happening in the hopes, maybe subconsciously, that we're going to outrun these hackers, outrun these people who are harassing us. Well, I have. And I know most of you have. Some of you probably did not. Good for you. No matter where we go, right? Like we go from place to place to place, right? Let's say, people say police are involved in it. Police are involved in it. Okay. Okay. For the police to be involved in it everywhere you go, every precinct is different. Every standards are different. Every police officer is different. Different standards, different personal um, preferences, different personal um, values. They have. So let's say you leave one state and you move to another. They would have to contact the police station there to pass it on. Otherwise, the police is not, they're not attacking everyone. They're not attacking anybody else than you, right? Because you're being attacked everywhere you go and you know this. So you still got to go back to where it started originally. You still got to go back to where you started originally because they are still the ones who are solely responsible. It's just the same with these gang stalkers. But a law enforcement or not, it's still the same. Everywhere you go, there are people who are willing to, to take money for harassing you. They're willing to take money for harassing you. And they will harass the crap out of you. Whether you want to see law enforcement is behind it or not, but it doesn't matter. Go back to where it all started, that place where it started, the state where it started, the city where it started, the neighborhood where it started. This, this is where the, the, the true culprit lies. They're right there with you. And there might be something you lost that you don't know, something you overheard, or they're using your accounts to steal money and hide it. And they just, well, I don't know, it's attached to your name for legal purposes. You, you, you know, so I don't know. It could be any number of things, any number of things. 
They use them in hacking you. It could be uh, uh, um, child pornography. It could be anything. Anything that they're using you for. And the shit hits the fan, they want you out of the way because a dead woman or a dead man can't accuse anyone nor can they defend themselves. Let me repeat that. If we're dead, we can't accuse anybody. We can't say, you know what? No, I didn't do that. And we can't defend ourselves. We can't say, no, I didn't do that. No, no, no. All these crimes are mostly internet related, internet based. All the extensive hacking, like they've hacked every freaking member of my family. They've hacked every member of my family. Every member probably they've hacked. Why would they do that? Only God and them knows. Only God and them knows. I, ha I have a pretty good idea why. But regardless of that, just look back, to, in my opinion anyway, look back to where it all started and then you'll, you'll get a clear idea. Because even if you're saying police related, police still have to pass it down to different precincts. It has to start somewhere. It had to have started somewhere. And watch for them keeping you going, look, just looking backwards, backwards, backwards all the time, trying to rack your brain. While your vision, your vision for the future is getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Your outlook, your outlook for your future is getting dimmer. And this is especially what they want. That you don't focus on living. You're just trying to survive and you're just trying to rack your head, trying to find out what happened from the past. We got to fight that in any way we can. You got to start having a vision, a forward vision. Right now, my forehead is hurting. I can smell kerosene. I can smell something very strong. This, I think it's chlorine I'm smelling right now. I think very strong. This is how they retaliate to me. This is how, this is her retaliation process. You hear that? This is the retaliation process. She's right here. I know, but I don't know where. I could call the police here right now. And they're, they're not going to go looking anywhere because they're going to say they don't know where, where an opening is. And it'll just continue. Right now, all this here is hurting really badly. I still have these dark circles. Now I seem to have a boil or something there. I don't know what that is. That wasn't there yesterday. Now it's there. Anyway, keep your vision open for your future. Keep focused on that. Above everything else, that should be most important. You have to have a vision for yourself, even if it's for the next day only. And always look back to where it all started, no matter where you end up. To get some sort of justice, you got to know that where you started is where, is where the culprits, the real culprits are, headed, are located. Or if they're not located there anymore, it started there. You know where it started because you know what happened. You lost something, you got used for something, I don't know. I don't know your particular story. But in my opinion, humble opinion, that's a place to start.